So I just got this box in and I gotta tell you guys after trying these on, this really changes a lot in what the footwear industry could potentially be. And this is the box as you can see and the inside of the box. We have a pair of slides and these are the craziest looking slides. Um, and I've been trying to get these since last year. They finally restocked. I put in a notification uh, from an email like that I could sign up for on ASIC site. They restocked and then I bought a pair. I believe they were like $80 shipped. Uh, but I was like, you know what? It's a 3D printed like slide. How incredible could it be? Or how interesting uh, could this thing be? And then I got them and I was like, whoa, this is nutty looking in person. And then you try them on and you're like, what is happening to my feet? I feel like I'm always constantly searching for like the funnest, most softest and squishiest pair of sneakers on feet. And I've tried a lot of slides that are really soft and squishy on feet as well. But this one by far takes the cake as the softest and squishiest slide as well as like shoe or any footwear that I've ever tried on. And if you guys know my channel, that's not something easily said because I've tried on hundreds, if not thousands of pairs of sneakers as of now. I tried on over 230 pairs of sneakers just last year alone. So these are absolutely insane how they constructed them. And I know it is a recovery slide, but they really might be onto something here. And it's something that I'm very intrigued by uh, on what uh, ASICS actually created. The box says this is the ASICS Active Breeze 3D Sandal. Uh, this is the black black colorway and I went with the size large which is a men's US 9 to 10 and a half. I'm a 9 and a half typically so these ones do run a little bit big which is I'm totally fine with like I just wear socks or whatever with uh, flip flops anyways for the most part. But um, but dudes it's so crazy soft and squishy. Uh, I don't know how they created this shoe. I don't know much about the 3D printed technology. I know Seth Fowler did a video of these a long time ago and I know he's done a lot of 3D printing himself. I've never messed with any of that stuff, but it is crazy, crazy soft. The only knowledge that I have of, of 3D printed sneakers is like the Adidas 40 technology or the Futurecraft stuff, which I have probably a dozen plus pairs of those. And those are significantly firmer than something like this on feet. Like this is so soft. I don't know if you could actually integrate this uh, properly into a sneaker because it is, it's just, it's like too soft almost. But it is a very interesting design how they created this lattice structure on the inside of the shoe. And if you rotate the shoe around, it is fully like, 3D printed and you can see through uh, every part of the shoe. It's like almost like honeycombs and stuff. It's probably gonna trigger some people uh, as well just because of all the little circles and holes and stuff in the shoe. But uh, this is, is really quite an incredible feat what they ended up creating. Uh, with this thing so i wanted to give you guys kind of my thoughts on this now i'll link these in the description if you guys are interested they do go in and out of stock uh, every now and then and what it says about the active breeze 3d sandal is it's made to help with recovery after your run it's formed with a parametrically designed construction that provides zone comfort and better breathability. Entirely 3D printed, this style also features an extra thick lattice structure that allows your body and feet to relax, allowing you to be ready for your next performance. So ASICS is really marketing this as a recovery sandal, and I could definitely see why they would do that. Again, because it's just so incredibly soft and squishy, there's nothing else uh, really like it on the market. And I do have like easy slides as well. And, and of course these are really soft and squishy as well. But these are bigger and bulkier than the easy slides as you could see. And they're 10 times softer. I don't even know if a durometer would work on this thing. Durometer doesn't really work on this thing. It says it's like 28, 29, but that's because the actual material is probably harder than the flux of the material when you're like actually pushing in and compressing. When it all combines together, it really gives this crazy sensation. The other thing that's wild is look at this. Like you can literally bend this thing in half and uh, it's fully like bendable. It's a really interesting concept what they created with this recovery slide. Now, will ASICs ever integrate this in their running line? I have no idea because they have such incredible foams. I don't know if it would be cost effective to be able to actually integrate this in. You can see these are in and out of stock often probably because these take a long time to make versus like a nitrogen infused foam, which is something that they could probably just knock out really, really quick. And it's probably a lot cheaper to knock out the foam. So when I think of this and I think of Adidas and what they've done with 4D technology, I really do think Adidas and what they did with 4D was really cool. And I think that it has a potential for future as well, especially after seeing something like this. It makes me wonder if Adidas could actually tweak their uh, lattice design and make something softer and squishier on feet. I feel like they could do the exact same thing. And it's been something that I've actually been wanting them to do for a long time now. Uh, whether or not we'll see it is, is another story. Now with the Adidas 40 forward technology, that is the softest 40 technology that they have on the market. But comparison to these, the 40 technology is really, really firm. So I really hope that Adidas can actually make something to compete with this, but make it on the footwear side, since they have the large scale production of like carbon and the 40 technology, it would be cool to be able to see them create something and, and integrate that 
that within footwear. Similar to this, where it's a lot softer and squishier on hands, on feet, and something that they can integrate into their like lifestyle footwear. I don't think that what you're creating here could be potentially for performance, maybe so, but I feel like it definitely is more geared towards lifestyle or recovery. But it's a really interesting space to be in right now because there's so much forward action that you can actually have with 3D printed materials with technology and the super foams that they have out there. I mean, I feel like sky's the limit with what can be created. Anyway, this was an incredible experience to get these finally. Uh, they're 80 bucks. And again, I'll link them in the description whenever they uh, re up and, and get back into stock. Hopefully, you guys will be able to get a pair if you guys are interested. Uh, definitely, definitely happy that I tried them because this is one of those pairs that I've, again, been wanting to try out. And until I got them in hand and on feet, uh, did I understand like what I was missing out on, I guess. It's something that is next level for softness and you wouldn't expect it from the lattice design of the shoe. I thought this was going to be really, really firm, to be honest. And the flexibility of this item and the squishiness of this item is just uh, unmatched from anything that I've seen on the market, especially in this styling. So uh, kudos to ASICS for creating something so rad. It's kind of fun to be able to see, and ASICS has been uh, creating some really good foams as well out there on the market. So it's fun to be able to see the competition. And honestly, I like to see it because the competition uh, spawns creativity from other brands to actually come up and compete. And I love seeing brands compete with uh, technology-driven, like, fun different types of footwear and uh yeah it's kind of cool to be able to see but have you guys try these out leave a comment in the comment section hope you guys have because they are really really something and i'll try to link them again in the description if you guys are interested in buying them but thanks for stopping by and watching hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day and hopefully see you back for some more content soon All right peace guys